We sing the Star Spangled Banner all the time, particularly at sports games and such. And so now we go to Nats Park and we sing about the rocket's red glare and bombs in the air and the fighter planes fly over whoosh, and everybody applauds DC Washington and the fireworks go off in this <laughs> and the fireworks go off in the sky. Psalm 110 had that similar effect in Israelite life. Everybody knew it. It was written for the coronation of a king. And yet it was known all the time. It was sung all the time. This was their, their longing that, oh, for a king that would be like that king. 500 years had transpired without a king in Israel. So the meaning of the song shifted. It went from being a song fit for David's king to being a song fit for David's son, which became a title for the Messiah. Do you see a theological problem with saying that the Messiah will be David's son? It's not obvious at first. But if you think critically about it, you might come up with it. What is wrong with saying that the Messiah is David's son? Well, doesn't it imply that the Messiah would be inferior to David? Which is a problem if the Messiah is Jesus. That's Jesus' problem here in Mark 12. How do they say the Messiah is David's son? If, D if Jesus has in his heart that he's superior to David, how does he expose that? Jesus raises this question about the psalm, which of course the Pharisees had never thought of before this question, and he answers it, showing him that the answer is obvious. It's back in the first verse. The Lord said to my Lord, Yahweh said to my king, who sang it? David. Who is he singing about? David says there's a king that comes before him. In their own national anthem, it describes the Messiah will be somebody who existed before David was ever born. They don't even have a grid to comprehend this. And here comes Jesus who says, I'm going to walk in and sit at God's right hand. He's saying this in the temple, by the way. The curtain is behind him where they would never dare go. That's in the background of Jesus when he says this. And he says, I am going to sit at God's right hand. Jesus holds that the Messiah will be descended from David. But he also holds that the Messiah will be greater than David. It seems like a contradiction, doesn't it? How can the Messiah be David's son, but superior to David? Only when you realize that this is a statement about the deity of this Messiah. He is a man born from David's line, but he existed before David was ever born.